Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. Today we'll be looking at the differentiation of transcendental functions. Transcendental functions include functions of um, exponential functions, logarithmic functions, and trigonometric functions. All right, um, exponential functions, logarithmic functions, and trigonometric um, ratio functions like sine, cosine, tangent, um, cotan, sec, cosec, etc. Let's start with exponential function. Let's look at the differentiation of exponential functions. All right. From exponential functions, if I'm given a function f of x, that's equal to y expressed as an exponential function let's say exponential x like this i will have that dy all over dx is equal to exponential x so if i differentiate exponential x i will have exponential x all right so this can be proved using um, the series expansion method um, from series expansion method, we say if you have exponential x, this is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared all over 2 factorial plus x cubed all over 3 factorial plus x to the power 4 all over 4 factorial plus it goes on just like this. All right. If this is true now, um, if this is exponential x, if I differentiate this, and let's say y is equal to exponential x. So it means that y automatically is equal to this 1 plus x plus x squared all over 2 factorial plus x cubed all over 3 factorial plus x to the power 4 all over 4 factorial plus it continues all right if i differentiate this now i'll have that differentiating y with respect to x i'll have that dy all over dx equal to if i differentiate one is a constant it gives you zero so it's off differentiate x here i'm having one plus differentiate x squared it gives you two x all over two factorial plus differentiate x cubed gives you three x squared all over 3 factorial plus differentiate x to the power 4 gives you 4x cubed all over 4 factorial plus it continues. Before we proceed, let's um, talk about a factorial. What's a factorial? A factorial is simply um, the multiplication of consecutive terms in descending order such that um, each number differs from the previous by one until one all right the multiplication of consecutive terms in descending order such that each number differs from the previous by one until one so i'm saying if i have five factorial for instance five factorial is equal to five times four times three times two times one 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1, etc. Now, observe this. I can say 5 factorial is equal to, we said this is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This value, as we have here, is what we have for 4 factorial. Hence, I can say that 5 factorial is equal to 5 times what I have here is this, which is 4 factorial. So hence, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 factorial. In the same vein, 3 factorial or perhaps 4 factorial is now equal to 4 times, I can say um, 3 times 2 times 1. We just said 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 3 factorial. Hence, 4 factorial becomes 4 times what there? 3 factorial. Observe this relation. 5 factorial equal to 5 times 4 factorial. 4 factorial equal to 4 times 3 factorial. 
3 factorial equals to 3 times 2 factorial, just like that. If I work on this, of course, 2 factorial becomes um, 2 times 1 factorial, which is 1. Alright, if I work on this now, this is now equal to, I'm having 1 plus becomes 2x all over 2 factorial is 2 times 1 factorial, which is 1. So 1 factorial is 1. So I'm having this. Next up, plus, I'm having this as 3x squared all over 3 factorial is 3 times 2 factorial. Plus, I'm having this as 4x cubed all over 4 factorial is 4 times 3 factorial plus it continues so i'm having this from here now you can see that two cancels two um three cancels three four cancels four so i have that dy all over dx is equal to this is one plus this gives you x over one is x plus this gives you x squared all over two factorial x squared all over two factorial plus this gives you x cubed all over 3 factorial plus it continues. So observe that 1, as we said here, 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial, it continues. So observe that this value here is equal to what the exponential x. So this is why if I differentiate exponential x, I will have exponential x this is your simple concept of why um, that's that way we'll take one example on exponential function and see how it works one example on exponential function and see how it works all right so let's say given that example given that y is equal to exponential 4x for instance all right, so how do I differentiate this? Case 1, I will use one alphabet to represent all of this. So I will say, let u be equal to 4x. Next up, differentiate this. I will have that du over dx is equal to, I'm having 4. Next up again, I will say, therefore, y is equal to exponential observe this please we said 4x should be equal to u so if this is u now i have that y is equal to exponential this is u becomes exponential u when i differentiated d over the x when i differentiated u with respect to x i had d over the x now i'm differentiating y with respect to u i now have the y over the u so if i have that y is equal to exponential x when i differentiate exponential x i have exponential x in the same vein if i differentiate exponential u i will have that dy over du is equal to exponential u at this point now i will use chain rule so using chain rule i have that dy all over dx is equal to dy all over du times du all over dx so it's now equal to dy over du is exponential u times du over dx is 4 so it's now equal to exponential u times 4 gives you 4 exponential u all right so replace the value of u but u is equal to what there u is 4x so hence, my answer is now equal to 4 exponential u. What's u there? 4x. I'm having 4 exponential 4x as my value for dy over dx. So this is how you solve problems um, for implicit for exponential functions. This is how you differentiate exponential functions.